Okay, book five of the Book of Psalms. And of course, this is our five of the Book of Psalms. So it's, uh, that's by coincidence. <laughs> book five and our five of Psalms. All right. Psalm 107. Psalm 107. The blesser. Messiah is Israel's blesser. Jesus Christ will be the blesser. He'll be the everlasting father. We saw him as the king, the prince of peace in book four. The avenger, the mighty God. Book three, the deliverer, the counselor, book two, and the redeemer, the, the, the wonderful, book one. Now book five, the blesser, the everlasting father. I will be unto them a father. They will be my people and I will be their God. And Israel is his firstborn son. Father God, as we look now Closing the book of Psalms, may this edify, encourage, and enlighten. In Christ's name, amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east. And from the west and from the north and from the south, he regathered them, the regathering of Israel. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in, hunger and thirst. Their soul fainted. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them out of their distresses. He led them forth by the right way, that they might go to the city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Now Mary quoted that in Luke chapter 1, when the Messiah, his conception is being announced. And when, when she learned she's going to bear the Messiah. Verse 13, they cried to the Lord in their trouble. He saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of the darkness and the shadow of death. And break their bands in asunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he's broken down the gates of brass. He's cut the bars of, of iron in asunder. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Uh, 29. He makes the storm a calm so that the waters thereof are still. Jehovah God calms the storm. Does that, does that remind you of anything in the New Testament? Jesus Christ calming the storm, huh? He is Jehovah God. Jesus Christ is the Creator God who can calm the storm. The 31. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. Look at 42. The righteous shall see it and rejoice. All iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Uh, psalm 108, a psalm of David. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I'll praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. The worldwide reign of Christ. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth that thy beloved may be delivered. Save with my, thy right hand and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of uh, Succoth. Verse 11. Wilt, thou, wilt not thou, O God, who cat has cast us off? And wilt not thou, O God, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of men. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. A psalm of David. Hold not thy peace, O God, of my praise. 
For the mouth of the wicked, the Antichrist and his followers, and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They've compassed me about with, with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. You know, a lot of people like to uh, quote that verse about politicians. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Well, that'll happen one day. Jesus Christ will write the wrongs in this world, and he, he'll remove all the politicians and put his rulers in place. The saints will rule in heaven and earth. But let another take his office. Acts 1, Acts chapter 1 says that's Judas Iscariot. Judas' bishopric, it's called. His office as an apostle is vacated once he commits suicide. So there, there's a new man selected. And God selects the man, Matthias. It's not Paul, no. Paul is not Judas's replacement. Paul is not the 12th apostle. He's not the 13th apostle either. He has nothing to do with Israel's 12 apostles. Paul is separate and distinct. And since the body of Christ doesn't separate him from the other apostles, that's why the body of Christ is so confused. They don't rightly divide the word of truth and they make everything in the Bible all apply to us. And it won't work. It hasn't worked then and it won't work now and it won't work in the future. 21. But do thou for me, O God the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me, for I am poor and needy and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting and my flesh faileth of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them when they looked upon me and they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God, O save me, according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, that thou, Lord, hast done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame. And let them co cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Psalm 110, a psalm of David. A messianic psalm. A kingdom psalm. The Lord said unto my Lord, that's the Father speaking to the Son. Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Sit. Now, do you remember when I told you Psalms speaks of this over and over and over? Arise, 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 God. Arise, Lord. Why? It's because he's sitting and they're... They're instructing him, get up, get up, stop sitting. They're instructing him, arise, Lord, stop sitting, stand. That's what's going on in Acts 7. When Stephen saw the glory of God, and he says he sees the Son of Man standing, well, the Son of Man standing there, that is a reference to he's no longer sitting. He's now arisen. And Israel's enemies there, need to be judged. God's enemies, I make thy, which is Jesus Christ's enemies, thy footstool, he's going to reign over them. Footstool, they're going to be lower than he. It'll be down at the bottom, he'll be over them. Verse 2, The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, Jerusalem. Reign, reigning. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. That's during the millennium. He reigns in the presence of his enemies. And there's that transition. Then they're cast away and he goes in and only believers uh, in the ages to come there. 
He reigns in the presence of his, in the midst of his enemies. And uh, yeah, there's sin in the millennium and so on. And there's rebellion in the millennium, especially toward the end of the millennium, there'll be rebellion. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauty of holy, beauties of holiness, from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Thou, the Lord hath so, sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek, remember, he was, he was the priest. He was king and priest of Salem, a priest of the Most High God in Genesis 14 with Abraham. That was so long back, huh? Well, this is not the Levitical priesthood, the Aaronic priesthood, the Mosaic system priesthood. This is Melchizedek's priesthood. We had not seen Melchizedek all this time now. And in the book of Hebrews, you'll see Jesus Christ is, the, is Israel's priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at, the right hand, at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. There's Messiah. Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great. His work is honorable and glorious. His righteousness endures forever. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gives meat to them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He showed his people the power of his works. That he may give them the heritage of the heathen. He gives, he gives them the Gentiles property. The Gentiles are idolaters. He gives Israel the Gentiles possessions. Verse 9. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. Don't call a man reverend, by the way. God's name is reverend. He's to be honored. He's to be revered. He's to be worshipped, not some man reverend. And then we have these, these uh, pompous people who say, don't call me reverend, call me right reverend, or very right reverend, or whatever reverend. They, they, they want to embellish the title even more. That's nothing but self-flattery and uh, absurdity. Vanity. Folly. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. His praise endureth forever. Proverbs. Psalm 12. Psalm, certainly well beyond Psalms 12. We're in Psalm 112. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in His commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth, the earth, the earth, the earth. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His righteousness endures forever. He won't be afraid of evil tidings. Verse 7, his heart is established. Verse 8, verse 9, his horn shall be exalted with honor. Verse 10, the wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 113, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye, O oh, Ye servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all the nations. His glory above the heavens. See, He's reigning. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth Himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifts up the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, he makes the barren uh, women to keep house, and to be a joyful mother of children, praise the Lord. Psalm 114, When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of, of Jacob, from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled, that's the Red Sea, and the Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What aileth thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest? Thou Jordan, 
that was that thou wast driven back, ye mountains that ye skipped, like rams, and ye little hills, like little like lambs, tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord. Here's his second coming. At the presence of the God of Jacob, which turneth the rock into standing water, the flint into fountains of waters, a fountain of waters. Psalm 115, not to us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, where now is their God? But our God, Israel's God, is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are silver and gold, the works of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they hear not. They have ears, but they eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. See, why do you have to tell them about all these things? Well, because, see, the, the heathen believe their, their gods did smell those stupid statues. They did see, and they did it, and they did handle and walk and speak huh you know that, that, that that's like me looking at this marker here huh you telling me something oh let me bow see see the marker the marker's not saying anything it's dead but yet they put the little statue and they praise it as if it it's alive like they are. And you know what God says to that? They that make them are like unto them. Blockheads. Verse 8. So is everyone that trusted in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. O house of Aaron, the priests, trust in the Lord. See, ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. Verse 15. Ye are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth hath he given to the children of men. The earth, the earth, the earth. Uh, verse 18. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. So Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Verse 5. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Look at verse... Uh, 11. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly, I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid. I'll offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 117, the shortest psalm and the shortest chapter in the Bible. O praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. He is good. His mercy endures forever. Now watch in Psalm 118. Let Israel now say, he, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Ever. Verse 4. His mercy endures forever. Uh, verse 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Ah, amen to that. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compass me about but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. 14. The Lord is my strength and song and he has become my salvation. 16. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me sore but he has not given me over to death. 
Psalm 118, 22, the stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. And in Matthew and Mark, that's Jesus Christ being rejected. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. There's the so-called triumphal entry. Jesus Christ riding on the donkey in Jerusalem there. The, the um, Sunday before his crucifixion. Palm Sunday. And they sing. And they say, Hosanna, Hosanna, save. See, Hosanna, uh, blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. And there's another place it says blessed is he that cometh in the name of day of the, of the let's see if I can get this right blessed be the uh, I'm not gonna get it right I'm gonna I'm gonna flip to it I'll get it right that way I, I can't quote it so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Luke no <clears throat> can't even get the reference right is <laughs> it be mark It'll be Mark. Go back a little bit. Let's see. Oop. I got. I, I get it eventually. Mark. I couldn't even remember the reference. Mark eleven. Mark eleven. Blessed. Uh, verse nine. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Davidic kingdom. Hosanna in the highest. Save. Uh, Psalm one eighteen twenty five. Save now. That's Hosanna. God is the Lord. Verse twenty seven. Which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endureth forever. Okay, Psalm 119. My goodness, Psalm 119. It's all about the word of God. Psalm 119. 176 verses. Psalm 119, if you notice, it's broken up into 22 Eight verse sections, 22 times 8, 176. Psalm 119, each section of eight verses begins with a different letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph, Beth, Gimel, Daleth, and so on, all the way through in order. Like, for example, the first eight verses of Psalm 119 began with the Hebrew letter A, Aleph. It's not, their letter is not A, it'd be our letter A, it's Aleph. Okay, and then there's Beth, 9 through 16, B, 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 all the way down through the first letter. But just listen to these, uh, Psalm 119, 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Look at verse 11. These are good memory verses. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. 15. I will meditate in thy precepts, and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Uh, 19. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. Verse 30. What about this one? I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. Uh, 33, teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Verse 37, turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, hold vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Look at verse uh, 42, so shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me. I trust in thy word. All right, 49, remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thou, for thy word hath quickened me. Uh, 59, I thought on my ways, and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. 89, 
forever, O Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven. It's permanent. 97, O how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day, the word of God. Uh, 103, how sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Uh, 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Uh, a lamp right here, right now, and a light beyond as I walk in life up ahead. Uh, verse 30, 135, make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. I mean, we could go on and on. Look at Psalm 119, 130. The entrance of thy words give it light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. We could go on and on and on and on, quoting Psalm 119. Uh, Psalm 1, 1, uh, 19, 160. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Okay, but uh, enough of that. Psalm 119. Uh, in, in, in Hebrew, it'd be an acrostic. A, 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 A. Well, I won't, I won't get into that, but that's how the, the Hebrews would teach their children the Hebrew alphabet, the Jews. Okay, but anyway, I'll move along. We're going to run out of time if I keep spending too much time on one psalm. Although it's the largest psalm, <laughs> uh, the largest chapter in the Bible, uh, that's going to have to su suffice <laughs> In our survey here we're just surveying remember we're not getting every last verse so Psalm 120 Psalm 121 Psalm 122 Psalm 123 124 125 126 127 128 129 130 131 132 133 134 15 Psalms uh, they're called songs of degrees. Songs of degrees. Degrees there. That goes back to the issue of Hezekiah. Now re remember the, the thing about God would deliver Jerusalem from the Gentiles attacking them, the Assyrians attacking Jerusalem. And there was a miracle associated. And Hezekiah saw the shadow of the sundial of King Ahaz, it went back 10 degrees. That would be back in, let me think a second. That would be in 2 Kings 19, 2 Kings 19, uh, I was one chapter off. 2 Kings 20, <laughs> Hezekiah, and it says here, it says, verse 10, uh, Hezekiah, uh, uh, 2 Kings 20, verse 10, Hezekiah wants the shadow to go, return backward 10 degrees, 10 degrees there, and we read about 15 degrees Psalms or Psalms in the book of Psalms. So, at these Psalms evidently are related to Israel's, or should I say, Jerusalem's deliverance. Jesus Christ will defend Jerusalem from her enemies, just like in Hezekiah. Said, this is future prophetic. Prophetic. So, Hezekiah is tied to these songs of degrees here. Psalm 120 to Psalm 134. 15 songs of degrees. So Psalm 120, In my distress I cried unto the Lord. He heard me. Deliver my soul. Alright. And then verse 1 uh, of Psalm 121, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills, from whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Verse 5. Verse 8. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in 
Psalm 122, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Look at uh, verse 1 of 123. Unto thee lift thy mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until he have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. See, come back and defend us and reign over us. And Jerusalem is your capital city. Psalm 124, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled. Blessed be the Lord who hath get not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 125, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about His people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Uh, peace shall be upon Israel, verse 5. The Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. Uh, Psalm 126, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Israel, we were like them that dream. Turn back Israel's captivity. Turn again the captivity of Zion. Uh, verse 4, turn again our captivity, O Lord, just like in Job. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 127, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sheep. Lo, children are in heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Uh, verse 1, Psalm 128. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Verse 5, the Lord shall bless thee out of Zion. Blessing, see all the blessing. We're in the blessing Psalms. The Lord will bless thee out of Zion. He, he's in Zion. And thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Psalm 129, many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Israel now say. Oh, let's see. Well, verse 4, the Lord is righteous. He hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turn back that hate Zion. You see, the Lord defends Jerusalem. And just like in Hezekiah's day against Sennacherib, king of Assyria. Psalm 130, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand but there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, just wait. See, wait, Israel. More than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. He shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Psalm 131, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eye is lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself. 
As a child that is weaned of his mother, my soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all his afflictions, how he swore unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumber to mine eyelids until I find out a place for the Lord and habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. See, David wanted to build the temple, remember, in Jerusalem. And God says, no, you're a bloody man. Solomon, and, and we read about that in Kings and Chronicles. Solomon is a picture of Christ of the second coming. And that's when Messiah's house uh, will be built. That's when the temple will be built, is the second coming. Uh, Israel is the temple there. We will, uh, God's dwelling place, we will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. Verse 8, Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou in the ark of thy strength. Verse 10, For thy, thy, servants, <laughs> thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. See the Davidic covenant here, verse 11, the Lord had sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon the throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony, then I shall teach them. Their children shall also sit upon the throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest, the millennial rest, see, the Sabbath day. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. God wants to live in Jerusalem. That's what he's saying. That's why God created the universe. Isaiah chapter 40 says, He spreads the heavens as a tent to dwell in. Well, who lives in it? He, yeah, He make, make creatures to live in. He wants to come into the creation and live. And he, he has a body, a physical body, Jesus Christ there. And He lives in it. He will live in and among His creation. Psalm 133, Behold how good, and all oh, the ecumenical verse. Everybody loves this who wants to say, let's all fellowship around all the so-called Christians. Oh, they may not be sound in doctrine, but shh, don't, don't mention doctrine. Doctrine divides. Let's just all gather around the love of Jesus Christ. Well, see, Psalm 133 has nothing to do with us anyway, but the brethren... How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That's not apostates and Christians. That's Israel and Judah united. Remember, they were divided back in 1 Kings. They were divided. Once Solomon died, Israel the north, and the map is long gone, Israel in the north and Judah in the south, the ten northern tribes, the two southern tribes, they are united again under the new covenant. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard. They're united one, once again under the Davidic throne that went down to his skirt, the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that, is, the, that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing even life forevermore. The blessing comes upon Israel in the kingdom. Bless ye the Lord, all my, all, <laughs> Psalm 134, Behold, bless ye the Lord, all the servants of the Lord, which stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. And he's in Zion there. See, that's how we know this isn't about us. But we can still rejoice that it is true. It's true concerning Israel. Psalm 135. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, verse 6. Whatsoever the Lord did, uh, whatsoever the Lord pleased, He did in heaven and in the, sea, in the earth, in the seas, all the deep places. He smote the firstborn of Egypt. He sent tokens and wonders 
into the midst of thee, O Egypt, on Pharaoh and all his servants. He smote great nations. He slew mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, Moses and Joshua, see, and gave their land for an heritage, and an heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endures forever. Uh, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants, the idols of the heathen. And here we go again with the idols. They can't see, they can't hear, they can't talk, they can't walk, they can't handle. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusted in them. Verse 18. And that, that's very similar to Psalm 115. Uh, verse 21, Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. He's in Jerusalem. Well, he's not living in Jerusalem today, huh? See, that's how we know Psalms doesn't apply to us. Psalm 136. What's nice about Psalm 136, and you can read that in your own time. Psalm 136. Every verse. Give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever. 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 Time and time and time again. And, and there's Israel's history repeated. God destroying Egypt. God destroying Pharaoh in the Red Sea. He led His people through the wilderness. He gave them those military victories. He gave them the land. He had mercy on Israel. He redeemed them from their enemies. He gave them food. He gave food to all flesh. His mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the, to the God of heaven. His mercy endures forever. Now, Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept. Now, this one evidently is a, is a much later psalm. Uh, the Babylonian captivity, of course, that, that, that's, what, 400 years after David. So this is, this is a, one of the older psalms. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they ha that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. The Edomites, they were rejoicing when Jerusalem was being burned. Back with Nebuchadnezzar and the temple being destroyed at the close of Second Chronicles. And Second Kings, well, remember them, God. Uh, o daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall be he that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. The Babylonians mistreated Israel as well. And happy shall he be that taketh and dash thy little ones against the stones. So just like you mistreated us, Babylon... And Edom, the Lord remember you, Edom and Babylon, and He will punish you just as you tormented us. He will pay you back in kind. So Psalm 138, Psalm 138, I will praise thee with my whole heart. This is David, a Psalm of David. Before the gods will I sing praise to thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple. And praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. God's name is above all. And then he put his word above that. We should think very highly of the Bible. And don't worry about somebody saying, oh, you're a Bible worshiper. God magnifies his word above all his name. Well, would, you, would you want to call God an idolater? See, I'd, I'd be careful just running off of the mouth. Psalm 139, an intimate psalm, Psalm 139. It's about creation, especially David. And David says, 
he speaks of God's omniscience, God's all knowledge, God's omnipresence, God is everywhere, and God's omnipotence, God is all powerful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made, David says there. Surely, verse 19, thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any w wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. The human body is a marvel of God's creation. I'll point that out in Psalm 139. Read that. We are not the product of mysterious evolutionary processes over two million years. And you know, if you want to jabber about how long life has been on earth, don't, don't get me started on that again. We are fearfully and wonderfully made and that my soul knoweth right well, my substance was not hid from thee, when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, thine eyes did see, did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. This is Psalm 139. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. All right, so Psalm 140. We're going to have to pick, it, pick up pace. What, 11 more Psalms to go? Ooh, we can do it. God's grace will get us through it. Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Look at verse 5. The proud have hit a, a snare for me in cords. They have sp spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Selah. I said to the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the prayer that I'm giving. Hear the voice of, of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device lest they exalt themselves. The 13, Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name, the upright shall dwell in thy presence. Psalm 141, I cry unto thee, Lord, make haste, hurry, give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Verse 8, but mine eyes are unto thee, O God, the Lord. I'm watching. I'm waiting for you, Lord. In thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Verse 10. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, whilst that I am with all escape. Psalm 142. A prayer when he was in the cave. A, a, a maskil of David. Teaching. This is teaching. Maskil means uh, uh, teaching. I cry to the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my cry. I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors. Believing Israel, rescue us from the Antichrist, Jehovah God, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Psalm 143, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Let's see. Verse 8, Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. 
I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, give me life, revive me, O Lord. For thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Uh, Psalm 144, a psalm of David. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth, teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust. All his different functions, God's functions uh, of Israel. Uh, for Israel, I should say. God functioning for Israel in different capacities. Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. See the second coming. Cast forth thy lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Send thine hand from above. Rid me and deliver me out of the great orders. From the hand of the strange children they speak vanity. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings who delivered David, his servant, from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, foreigners, whose mouth speaketh vanity, the Antichrist and his followers. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Uh, Psalm 145, David's psalm of praise. I will extol thee, my God. O King, I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. An awesome God. See, one generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. Uh, verse 8, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy servants shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. To make known the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He'll fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry, and will save them. The Lord preserves all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. Amen to that. At the second coming, my mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his name forever and ever. Psalm 146. Praise ye the Lord. Now here we go. See, see you saw back, I will extol thee. All right, back Psalm 145. One. Now watch. 146, 147, 148. 149, 150. Praise ye the Lord. Every time. Yeah, that's how they begin. Hallelujah. 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 Praise ye the Lord. O my soul. Uh, verse 5. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever. He executes judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. 
The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and the widow. But the way of the wicked, he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Even my God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. So, it starts, praise ye the Lord, and it ends, praise ye the Lord. Psalm 147, praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God. It is pleasant, and praise is comely. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. He counts them. Yep. He counts all the numbers of the stars. And how many stars are there? Well, there are millions of galaxies and billions of stars within each galaxy. So you do the math. He calleth them all by their names. He's named them. Not, not only does he count them, he names, he, 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 he has a name for them, each one. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifts up the meek. He casts the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise unto, upon the harp unto our God, who covers the heaven with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow on the mountains. He gives to the beasts his food and the young ravens which cry. He delights not in the strength of the horse. He takes not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord takes pleasure in them that fear Him, in those that hope in His mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For He hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace, and in thy borders, and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth His commandment upon earth, his word runneth very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts forth his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow and the waters flow. He shows his word unto Jacob. His statutes unto, and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. He gave Israel his word. And that's Romans chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. What is the advantage to being of the circumcision? Every way, chiefly because unto them were committed the oracles of God. God's word was given not to the nations, it was given to Israel. At that time, anyway, now God's word is given to all the nations through Paul's ministry. Praise ye the Lord, Psalm 148. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens. And ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made for a decree which shall not pass. Praise ye the Lord from the earth. See creation. And this word it ties in the Job. Praise the Lord from the earth ye dragons and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and vapors. Stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and old men, children, maidens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth. 
and heaven. He also exalts the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Two psalms to go. Psalm 149. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let, his saint, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written, This honor have all saints. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150. And we're done with Psalms. Whew. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And if that's not enough, one more time, praise ye the Lord. That's how the book of Psalms ends. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Messiah has been our Redeemer. Israel says that He's wonderful. He's been our Deliverer, Counselor, our Avenger, the Mighty God, our King, the Prince of Peace, our Blesser, the Everlasting Father. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Bing, 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 bing. Check, 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 check. Calvary, the trib and second coming, the second coming and trib and second coming, kingdom, kingdom. That's the book of Psalms. Dispensationally delivered, of course. That's not how you hear the book of Psalms taught, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not how I hear it taught either. Well, that that's... That is the difference but between approaching God's Word God's way and approaching God's Word man's way. And as you can see, approaching the Bible man's way gets you nowhere, huh? So, maybe you had better start approaching God's Word God's way from now on, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. The book of Psalms is the book of Praise, poetry, prophecy. The book of Psalms, we understand it dispensationally. Really, it's about Israel's hope for these events, these functions of Jesus Christ here. The cross, the second coming, and the kingdom. That is Israel's doctrine from Psalms as related to these titles and historical events. Now some of these are prophetic. Yeah, Calvary, that's history. Now, but the rest, those have to be fulfilled. And in God's own timing, Israel needs to wait. He'll, he'll finish it. All right. Enough with Psalms. Proverbs is up next. Heavenly Father, may we understand Psalms in that light now. Instead of the old usual rank and file, ignorant 
perspective that so many people have in Psalms and about Psalms. May we see Psalms with astounding clarity as you would want us to see it. These five books of the book of Psalms. Thank you for being Israel's Redeemer, as well as her Deliverer, her Avenger, her King, and her Blesser. Because ultimately, you are our Redeemer as well, and you are our King. You reign over us, and we will reign with you in the ages to come. And you are our Blesser. You are our Deliverer. And you are our avenger as well. Thank you. In Christ, name, amen. And Psalms is over.